everyone, today I'm going to show you this really pretty tutorial which is a translation of one of my favourite YouTubers and it's how to make these super cute half pinwheels in the sort of faux leather glitter materials and as you can see I've made them in a, a couple of different types uh, just so you can see so this is in the slightly thinner glitter materials and like I said that's really easy to get your pinches in I've done it in this super super pretty hollow material again that's a, a nice thinner one that's not really easy to get the pinches in so those ones and that's a slightly smaller version then i've done it in like this very fine glitter materials and look how pretty those green ones are okay nice little pigtail set there and i also tried it in this super thick sort of sequency sequindy material um it did take longer to get the pinches in but it is achievable it just took a little bit more patience than the thinner materials and my favorite thing about this tutorial depending on how you get your joins in as you put the gobo together you either get this nice pinch together version which is quite narrow or you get the nicely flared version like so so you've got two options the same as when you make it with your ribbon so this is how it works and i've done these are one and a half centimetre wide and these ones are one cent one inch wide so one and a half inch and one inch and the one and a half gives you about four inches wide and the one inch gives you about three inches wide you can make it in the bigger sizes if you've got some materials on the rolls but i tend to use these a4 sheets and obviously they are about 11 and a half inches so that's what i did for my one and a half inch version and on the one inch versions i did about 10 and a half um, which you can normally get out, out of an a5 sheet if you use an a5s instead of a4 sheets and i got really lucky because i've got two different size rollers here I've got this wider one, this pink one, and this skinnier clear one. And it's just lucky enough that this clear one is exactly an inch wide. And this pink one is exactly an inch and a half wide. So all I've done when I'm doing my materials is I've taken my material, put my roller against the straightest edge, and draw my line directly down like so because if I try and put my own lines in I do have a habit of like naturally shifting off to one to the sort of left or right so like I said the fact that this this ruler is perfect size for what I was using and this one is perfect size for the the 1.5 inch it's quite useful so like I said if you have a look you'll probably have the same sort of tools around the house and I have already cut my wider one and a half inch version as well and like i said this is a 11 and a half inches and this is the method and this can be used on any size so you can do this in the one inch exactly the same you can do this for two inch you can do this for three inch i would say if you're going to use two inch i would use about 12 and a half maybe 13 inches for three inches i would do sort of 14 to 16 depending on how big you like the overall bow to be so you can have a play around and like I said, this technique will work for all sizes so take your material and you want your back facing towards upwards towards you and you fold like so so you get this shape and you want this side and this bit to be roughly the same amount from from this this edge on both so you get this and this is your front so you get your two lines and your back you sort of get this S E V shape like so okay that's what it looks like and what we want to do is take this edge and this edge so this corner to this corner and you fold them directly so that both those tips meet like so and then you want to check that your tails 
are even and also at this point if you think you're going to like your tails a little bit longer you can still sort of slide them up and down like so so you've got slightly longer either side and again just re check by bringing those two corners together there you go you're even on both sides so like that so this is the shape you've got at the moment so that's what the one side looks like that's your other and then I do a nice crease here just pinch that second like so so you get this and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a small cut here and a small cut there just through that one layer so hold that up and I'm going to do it roughly half a centimetre up and then fold it that way and we want to do it this side and again half a centimetre up and when you do it make sure you've done it the right way one should be facing up one should be facing down so that when you go to put them back together this lot together like this and you haven't got to cut this side instead okay so pinch that back together so it's flat again like that and then what I do to make the pinch easier if you fold that off and put a touch of glue here uh, just a touch hold that down and lift this side up and again you just want to touch glue there right. hold that a second so you get that now the deeper you go so if you go shallow you get the more flared look if you go deeper you get the closer thinner look like so so just so you know you can see the difference I had a little brown version somewhere but I thought uh, yeah I'll show you properly so that's the shallower cut here and that's the deeper so if you were to go like a centimeter instead of half a centimeter that's the difference in the looks that you'll get okay so like I said, you can play around and like I said, get different versions depending on your personal taste. And then bring it back so it's this way up to you. And what you want to do is you want to pinch in from that centre where we've done the join. So bring it together so that these two edges meet, like so. And then this side... You want to go push back against that thumb and then down so you get this and on the other side you want to press down with your thumb like so and then back up so you get this it's basically two creases this side and you'll have three creases this side one two three it's not very clear in this color but you'll understand when you do it yourself and at this point you can either gently open your fingers and glue same this side gently open your fingers and you glue here here and here and then pinch back together or you can wrap with thread depending on which you're most comfortable with I'm gonna wrap with thread just cut a little bit off and this is extra strength thread uh, you would want extra strength or upholstery thread I wouldn't use anything um, else cotton and things like that will definitely 100% snap and you want to wrap that directly around your center 
good couple of times as tight as you possibly can like so and then tie it off Best thing about using a thread as well, if you have gone slightly off centre, you can sort of push it into the centre and adjust it that way. Whereas with glue, once it's glued, you don't have that option. So that's why I personally prefer the thread. And I always use a little bit more than I need purely because I like to be able to tie it off easily. But I do sometimes use them for smaller bows, put them in my little thread pot. And then I just like to just my shape like so so you get a nice curve and if you want to do tails like I said you can cut spikes you can do curves which I do by cutting from this corner and I just gently slope down and from this side gently slope down just brush that glitter out of the way so there you go and then I have cut a centre that matches, and this is one centimetre wide or about nine millimetres, depending on what you work in. Which I think, is it the three eighths ribbon? I couldn't be 100% certain on that one. I'm just going to cut down to make it a little bit more even. There we go. Got a clip. I want just a touch of glue on that one. There we go. Just pop that there. And then I want a touch of glue just on the back of our centre. Going by my sorry, don't like mess showing in my videos. Hold that just on the back for a second, and then wrap round nice and tight. Cut off your excess, then want a touch of glue here. And there we go, like I said, a nice little half pinwheel shape in your faux leathers, glitter material with no templates or anything like that needed. Like I said, just a ruler and the ability to cut in a straight line, basically. And like I said, you can play around. Like I said, you can do your nice tight versions. You can do your more flared versions. And you can just keep adjusting until you get the shapes you want also if you fold the opposite way so obviously i have a habit of naturally doing this way if you do it the other way sorry i naturally do that way you can roll that way so obviously that direction instead of that direction and obviously it will point your tails in the opposite way around etc and you can just sort of play around and make the different sizes like I said you can play around with your sizes if you've got wider widths of material like I said look how cute they all are you can play around with your tail edges I did some teeny tiny bubbles with spikes Here's one I tried earlier that didn't quite work out. <laughs> um, so thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this useful. And like I said, you enjoyed the translation. And if you need any more help or anything like that, do pop me, um, do join me over on my Facebook group or my Facebook page. And I'll help you with anything that you need. And thank you for watching. Bye.